don't forget to subscribe to Steven C. Killer. Now get back in the grave, gut bag! What's up, everybody? Steven Z. Killer here, bringing another reaction. Now, today's reaction is another death battle between two ice users. Now, we are checking out a fight between Gray from Fairy Tale versus Ease Death from Akamiga Kill. Now, I did watch already the beginnings of Death Battle. And if you're wondering why, there was an incident back in 2019 where I was having some issues with Death Battle and Rooster Teeth uh, claiming a certain parts at the beginning of their talk and everything. So I now, because of that, I watch it ahead of time, check out what they're talking about. And as of right now, Edith has definitely shown that I think I think Edith is a lot more powerful um, than Grey. And skill wise, when it comes to fighting and killing, I think she is definitely uh, one to probably take the win from this. Now Grey is no pushover and honestly between the two characters, I think Grey having the power of friendship and everything uh, in his universe. Uh, probably could take the win, but I feel like Edith is going to kill Gray. Like he, she is going to win, and not to mention between the two, I I think skill wise, Gray is definitely has some upper hands and some resistance, but I think she, her power exceeds his. Um, in some aspect. The only thing about Grey is his demon killing form. That is definitely going to be trouble for her, but she has definitely shown some amazing abilities um, from a Kamiga kill. And for what Boomstick and Wiz said, I feel like she is in the power department stronger in the speed department, they're kind of even uh, because they talked about how she dodged lightning and how Gray is on par with Natsu and Natsu's do dodged lightning. So, speed wise, they're kind of even. Defense wise, I think she's more willing to keep fighting even after losing an arm and gray yeah he would definitely keep fighting even if he lost an arm but I think he it would really uh, hurt him and hold him back for a second and not to mention Edith would not let gray use his ultimate technique to kill her because it takes so much time to charge up and throw it at your opponent and she would not give him that time. And also, she's very, very skilled in sword fighting with a real sword. Not just ice swords, but real sword and a few other things. And she's also sadistic, psychopath, sadist. <laughs> um, yeah. And a lot of people like her for her assets. Goddamn. <laughs> but that that is definitely... Uh, not a reason for her to win, but Gray, uh, Gray's gonna have one hell of a battle if he pulls out on top and wins. I'll be very shocked, but I think Edith is going to beat Gray. But I wouldn't be mad if Gray won at the end. But I feel like Edith is the side I'm choosing with this fight. Let me know down below in the comment section so you guys agree with me. Um, I only watched through the intro once if I missed anything. Um, Specific. I know a lot of their ice abilities from making ice come out of nowhere is pretty similar. I think Edith might have uh, the ability to take and absorb those soldiers, but I don't know if they're going to actually have that in this fight because it took her a few days. So the power from all those soldiers is one thing. And let's say if... Um, 
Gray's like ice ability took over the fairy tale realm kind of thing where they talked about the uh, his ice storm could cover the whole world of ice and her ice ability could cover the whole continent. I don't know which one was bigger by heart, but I think Edith's would be a considerably bigger in that department. So power, strength, I think Edith has the ability. Speed, they're pretty goddamn even. Durability, I think Edith has one uh, edge on that as well. So anyways, I'm gonna pop up the video. We're gonna check it out. I'm on Edith's side and, um, or Edith's. I don't know how to pronounce it probably properly, but go on the side with the nice titties. <laughs> All right, let's get into this one and uh, enjoy it right now. Wait, oops. Let's uh, put that on. There we go. Make sure desktop audio is on. Yep. Lower that just a little bit. Such a paltry country is hardly worth conquering. No oh, shit. Although I will say in this animation, they definitely kind of nerfed uh, her boobs. <laughs> they looked actually not that big. Hey. Mm -hmm. Take your okay, so she actually already has her um, her ice soldiers. By the way, link will be down below for the original video. Guys, I will be pausing, talking over this, and enjoying the full video. Uh, but if you guys don't like how I do things, you can go click the original. All right. Get out. Hmm. Eh. Oh, no! Wait, 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 wait! I didn't even think of that aspect! Is she gonna fall for Grey? Cause... She fell for the other dude. Although Grey would be interested in her. He he, he uh, kinda already has Juvia. Uh... Uh! Nope, never mind! She ain't falling for him! She ain't not falling for him! Oh, just what I need. Another crazy blue-haired woman in my life. <laughs> By the way, I hear some badass uh, OST in the background. Ooh! I don't know what music that is, but that shit is fire! No pun. Oh! Oh! Damn! And Gray's already taking some massive damage. And that's one aspect I kind of forgot about. Her flying ability. I don't know if Gray has anything to revert that. Or counter it. Damn. Okay. Okay. Gray giving no fucks about a little cut. But bringing down the fucking hammer! Oh! Oh! Damn! Very nice. She's absorbing the ice, soldiers. Yeah, all right. This is getting intense. So she's unleashed most of her power, and Gray is taking it head on. I think Gray could pull the win out of from this. Oh, okay. Now, ice power is what I was kind of feeling like she had an upper hand, but I could be wrong about the strength aspect. For the meal. Ooh. Oh! Okay, so a special demon ice sword thing against hers. Oh! Goddamn! Okay, hopefully I edited out that commercial. I have a tendency of forgetting, but I definitely, hopefully made sure it would be easy to find. Alright. Okay! Yeah, that's... Oh my god! No choice. But 
Okay, is she gonna let him attack? Oh no, if he's able to get this off, she's done. Oh! That's right, I completely forgot the time stop! Fuck! Yeah, that was another point I was- I kind of forgot to talk about. Her time stop ability. She's gonna fucking just stab him right in the heart, and he's done. He can counter it?! Congratulations and goodbye. She fucking won! I completely forgot about the time stop they talked about. But he was actually able to counter it because of his resistance to the cold. This just in male stripper found dead after a crazy night with a dominatrix gone wrong. <laughs> oh my god, dominatrix gone wrong. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Right, seven. Let's get to this. This was certainly an interesting matchup, and both cryomancers held their own advantages. Oh, oh definitely. Yeah. Gray's awesome ice make powers meant he had a ton of versatility at his frosty fingertips. Like how he could eat ice to replenish his magic. He sure didn't see that one coming. So yeah, that was that's one thing I actually did not know of from Fairy Tale. Like, there's a lot of things I have, I'm not I'm behind on Fairy Tale by a lot. But I did not know he got to the point where he was actually able to do a pull a Natsu and or like a Dragon Slayer thing. Where Natsu eats fire and replenishes his magic. So now Grey can do the same thing. That I did not know or expect. She is, as that likely wouldn't fall for any of Grey's tricks more than once. Also, both were in the same range That's of true. Of yeah, but the See? Queen of Cold King. <laughs> queen of Cold King. <laughs> Okay, so it was just a country, and hers was a con- I had a feeling it was something different, I just couldn't remember. True, but like I said, I only watched the beginning like once. We still had to deduce the exact nature and potential of her storm. Remember, Esdeath specifically claimed it took her a few days to make the ice cavalry she used as fuel for the storm. A few generally means three at minimum. So we can cut the yeah. previous calculation to one third. Lowballing this a bit, let's assume she used all of her power each day to make one third of the total cavalry. This would mean as Death could wield about 93 petatons worth of energy on a daily basis. And that's another thing. They were, uh, he was doing gigatons and she was doing petatons. I don't know the difference between those, but I'm assuming petatons is a lot stronger than gigatons. Way more than Inbel's ice storm, and 1600 times deadlier than that meteor Urza obliterated. Okay. Yeah. So she, he had better resistance than her. Okay, I did not know that part. Had a feeling, but did not know. Wasn't one hundred percent on that. And she didn't use her giant, like giant mech uh, ice thing. Yep. Mahoptima was more useful given its immediate effect compared to the ice shell's long casting yeah. and its versatility in that Not to mention she can use it whenever, like she doesn't charge it, she just activates it. Could follow it up with whatever she wanted. Also, it doesn't kill her, so that's a plus. Uh, that, <laughs> that is a plus, it's more, it's more efficient. Yeah. Meant he could hold his own. But as that's awesome power, uniquely suited time freezing and domineering perseverance saw her through this battle. Damn. Like cold. <laughs> the winner is as death. As death. Hell yeah. Who's next? That was some solid battle music by the way. I do have to agree. Who's next? Okay, they're doing a Pokemon versus Goro? Ma Machamp versus Goro. Goro versus Machamp. Four arm battle. Honestly, I would say 
Monchamp over Goro. Goro is strong and everything, but I think Monchamp being a Pokemon honestly is going to have more of an advantage between the two. That's how I feel as of right now. You guys let me know who you guys think is going to win in the next fight. But between Goro and Machamp, I feel like Machamp. So, that was still a badass battle. Thank you guys for watching. Holy shit. Edith definitely um, pulled out the win. Gray, sadly, was just a little bit weaker. Speed-wise was the same. Defense was a little bit better, but she can get through the defense and her Matt, like, ultimate move was better than his and also didn't risk her life. And she was, I think, more skilled. And I was right. I felt like she definitely had more when it came to just the abilities and everything. Alright, guys. So, hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. Let me know down below. Subscribe to the notification bell. Check out my Discord. All links down below. And until next time, guys, I'll see you guys later.